going to put all the starting NFL quarterbacks into tiers. Let's start with Russell Wilson, who's been an S when it comes to content, but probably closer to an F when it comes to play. Out of respect for his career, Gene, I'll let him high knee his way to D. Yeah, like you said, if it wasn't for the memes and the Miss Unlimited and the jokes and let's ride off that alone and the fact that he's playing like not the best, I got to give him D as well. Aaron Rodgers up next. I think you could make the case that Aaron Rodgers is a C and, and that's the non-hallucinogenic T. When you factor in, he doesn't really have many receivers and what he's done over the course of his career, I, I can live with a beat. I'm not putting him at C. No matter how bad he's playing right now, nothing's to say this dude is not going to turn around and figure it out. He's not going to figure it out. Not going to happen this year. I mean, you already got people talking about whether Jordan Love should, should play, which it goes far enough. Let's go to Dak Prescott. Dak is a quality quarterback. I'm not going to say this dude is, a, is trash, but one, he hasn't played all season. Two, when he has played, eh, it's been all right. I'm gonna give Dak a seat on his play alone. There was a time I would have considered A. I, I think Dak is the definition of a B quarterback right now. But what I'm gonna do is let him stay at C so Cowboys Nation can come after you. You know, he might have a, a star on his helmet. You now got a target on your back. Half of Cowboy Nation wanted Cooper Rush at one point of the season. And Dak, there was a quarterback controversy. It might've been only for two weeks, but there was one. So for that, C. All right, Daniel Jones, he's been a little bit better. This year, he, he's a talented runner. The Giants are having a good season. He's kind of playing for his quarterback in future. He'd be right on the line between C and D. I'm probably leaning D for Daniel Jones, man, in terms of play. I don't know how much credit I can give him for the Giants success this year. He's D with C potential. Let's go to Davis Mills. Can we just agree he's at the bottom here? Well, let's make him our first F. Davis Mills, you are Mr. F at the moment. Derek Carr, man, disappointing. I, I think that the D in his name is, is right there with where his ranking should be. I'm putting Derek Carr at D. The fact that they failed this much, this early and this often, as of right now, he's a D, but he's flirting with that F. Geno Smith has played at an A level this year. It leads the NFL in, in completion percentage. I, I feel like he's got this thing where there's still this wait and see aspect, so that might keep him in the B range at the moment, but he's had an A season. Geno Smith, yes, he's having a fantastic year, the best season of his career. That being said, Geno, for an A category, knowing the guys that we have left remaining on this list, I don't feel right putting a guy who's had one good year in 10 in that same category. So for me, as of right now, I got Geno B right next to Mr. Rogers, which honestly is a hell of a compliment considering where Geno started. Whoever thought we'd see Geno Smith next to Aaron Rodgers, I'm not mad at that. All right, Jacoby Brissett. I mean, the kind of the definition of a journeyman backup. He's been around long enough, I'll give him a D. Damn, I was actually gonna give him a C for that. I'll put him right, yeah, D. D for Mr. Jacoby. All right, Jalen Hurts kind of had an S caliber season, but I need to see it a little longer. The, the guy has improved at every stage step of the way. So to me, Jalen Hurts is a solid A. Jalen, like he's in the MVP conversation. The Eagles look like serious Super Bowl contenders. And for that alone, like he does have best potential. We could be looking at a top five quarterback by the end of the season. Jared Goff, I'm still mad at him about the Rams Super Bowl. That should have been a better game and he's the reason it wasn't. Almost makes me want to make him an F. I, I guess he's a D. I would not be mad at an F. Can you win with the guy? I don't think so. Yeah, I think a, a big D for Jared Goff to go with Detroit. All right, Jimmy G, he's kind of a C plus if you ask me. Good enough to win with, but everything around him has to be really good in order for you to win. He's an elite game manager. You know how I feel about Jimmy G. This is my guy right here, man. But it'd be hard for me to put him in the B range just off individual talent alone. To me, he's the best C on the list so far. And I don't know if there's gonna be anyone that's in that C range that's better than Jimmy G. Cause so you're saying he's better than Dak Prescott. I'm saying, I think there's a lot of, t uh, that's close, that's close, it's, it's, it's arguable. But to me, if you talk about intangibles, give me a Jimmy over a Dak in terms of winning in the big time. Joey B hasn't been the, the quite the season it was after the Super Bowl, but I still think he's proven, when you look at his numbers, when you look at what he accomplished last year, that he's in that A range. I, I give Joey B an A. I gotta drop him the B, man. To me, you gotta be excellent in the A range. Has Joe Burrow been excellent yeah, at all? Yeah, he's kind of had an excellent season when you look Has at he? it. He kind of, I mean, he's under duress when it comes to sacks. His top receiver is down. Wins is not exactly a, a QB stat. I, I think we gotta, we gotta put Joey B in the A range. Like, you got, you got Dak Prescott at C. 
and I, I let Cowboys fans have it um, with you. Let, let's put Joey B up at A. Josh Allen, there's our first S. I, I don't think anybody could argue against Josh Allen being an S. Arguably the best player in the league or right in that mix. You're, you're just talking about a monster of a player. Easy S. Easiest decision of the day. Justin Fields, you know, he would have been in the D or F range. I think he's worked his way up to C with potential for much more than that. You know, I had Mike McDaniel on the sideline saying stop it because of his running ability and, and, and continues to get better. So... I like what the future holds for him. Honestly, I think this is his future. I don't know if we're ever going to see Justin Fields in the B-A range. I don't know. I don't know if his skill set is going to translate to dub. See, I'd go the uh, other way, actually. I mean, I, there was a time where I, I thought, uh, you know, he, he just wasn't going to be a good starting quarterback in the league, but I, I've changed my tune. Justin Herbert, maybe the most overrated player in the entire league in the sense that I hear his name mentioned along with Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen and guys like that, and he doesn't belong there. I'll give him credit for, for playing hurt. Obviously, he's got talent, but he's a B to me. That's so disrespectful, man. This dude set the record for most touchdowns within the first two seasons as a starter. If there's any knock on him is the fact that he's been hurt this year. Keenan Allen's been hurt. But the Chargers were serious Super Bowl contenders. And this dude, despite all that, has still found a way to when, get when, wins. When were they serious Super Bowl contenders? I mean, you're on, the one who likes to Heading into this season? Heading into this season, they ultimately yeah, okay, were. Okay, so we, hypothetical Super Bowl contenders? You're the one who likes we to throw a record in my face all the time. The Chargers, they get wins despite all that. They still two games above 500. He's got a better winning percentage than Joe Burrow right now that you put above him. That being I'm said, not Justin saying B for bump. My whole statement was only based on the fact that I think he's a tier below, or maybe two tiers below, the likes of Mahomes and Allen. I, I'm, I'll concede. I'll put him at B. Okay, A talent with B production. Fine. We'll, we'll settle there. Kenny Pickett, I don't know if anybody's going to argue that he belongs ahead of an F from what we've seen thus far. Steelers offense, no bueno. Yeah, I hate being this hard on a rookie, but yeah, man, until proven otherwise, you're not sitting at any table but the F table right next to your man Mills. Turnt Cousins. Where are we putting Turnt Cousins? Hey, man. Hey, man. I love, I love what I'm seeing in Minnesota right now, man. I'm putting Kurt Cuh in the A category. He is an A talent this season alone. Vikings are legit. Anything below an A would be disrespectful for what he's done. So there's no primetime tier, right? Because uh, he wouldn't want to be anywhere oh, no. near the primetime tier. If, if there was a prime time, then he would not make the list, unfortunately. How about a Kyler Murray? Are we making this list after a Call of Duty release? Kyler, to me, is a B. You might smash the B on the video game controller. That's where I'm putting it. He's a B, but I don't feel good about it in terms of, like, he should be in the A category. And the fact that he isn't... But with, is yeah, so problem. his talent is greater than where he's yeah. placed. But, you know, exactly. he keeps arguing with his coach and, and receiver, and, and the results haven't been what, what they've been. There was the whole study clause in his contract. Um, he got paid. Credit to him. I, I think B is the right fit. Lamar Lamar Jackson, I put him in the S class. When you're talking about players I wouldn't want a game plan against, Lamar Jackson is right there near the, the top of the list. Ah, uh, to me, he's an A. I can't put you in the Josh Allen and the Patrick Mahomes of the world when you can't close out games that you should win. Lamar's done it too many times this season for me to feel good about putting him in the S category. They're a Super Bowl contender. I mean, they've got twice as many wins as they do losses, and he's carrying the team and with top receivers out. I mean, they're still winning games, and we're, we're putting him up at it. Hold on a second. Is he having a better season than Jalen Hurts right now? It's cl Well, here's the thing. It, it, um, is, they're is both having – Jalen Hurts is an both, MVP they're both candidate. In, yes, the Lamar is. Jackson they are is both, not an MVP Oh, yes, he is. He's absolutely an MVP. Oh, MVP no, he is not. They're oh, both no, he MVP, not. MVP not. candidates. Here's the difference. With Hurts, we, we are now in the first year of anyone considering him on this level. With Lamar Jackson, we're a few years in, and that's what gets him the extra tier. I'll concede this. I'm not conceding no more, though. I'm not conceding the next one. All right, Andy Dalton. I mean, he's flirting with an F. <laughs> and that's he's where he belongs. That's, what, that's where he belongs, man. No disrespect. The F is for Father Time, which is beating his ass right now. Speaking of mid, Mid Jones is up next. Well, look, people thought someone called Bailey Zappi was going to take his job. Last year, I would have had him as a C. This year, he's dealt with an injury, which always makes it unfair, but I I'd put him as a D right now. Hey, availability is the best ability, right? And he hasn't been on the field, and when he has been on the field, it hasn't really wowed anybody. I don't think Pat's fans would, uh, would disagree either. Marcus Mariota has been the starting QB for the Falcons. I, I don't really feel any strong way about him, so to me, that says D. Matt Stafford, another guy dealing with injury. Like, last year, he, he probably is an A. This year, he's probably a, a C. The Rams are, are, are struggling. They've lost some heartbreakers, man, and he hasn't been able to get the job done, so C for staff. Patrick Mahomes, easy S. Uh, to me, he's the best player in the league. Or The, the argument to me is between Patrick Mahomes and, and Josh Allen. I'd have Lamar Jackson third in that group. I, I know you take the Allen side of that argument, but we can have that a different day. I can't imagine 
you would disagree with Mahomes being in the S class. I mean, I could, I'm joking. No, Mahomes is a clear S. All right, let's go. Uh, PJ Walker he had a nice couple of weeks there, but he's one step above the XFL in the F class. Yeah, man, and I love PJ as a Panthers fan, man. It pains me to say, but PJ, you 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 sleeping in the in the F category. Ryan Tannehill. I mean, Malik Willis has been playing and looks uh, like a, a project, to put it kindly. Tannehill is exactly in that that range where. You know, he's good enough where you can win games, but not good enough where you don't want to replace him. I, I, that makes him a C to me. Like, you're just waiting to replace this dude. Like, let me just have this dude here till something better goes along. And to me, that speaks mid. Yeah, C category. I don't, I, I don't think arguing for anything else would be the Tannehill to die on. Let's go to Sam Ellinger. So far, we've seen an F. He got his coach fired, right? <laughs> Yeah, the F. <laughs> he just hasn't done anything to prove that he belongs anything above an F right now. Yeah, he hasn't really had a chance, to be fair. Taylor Heineke, he might be a sneaky C. <laughs> he's competitive, he's feisty, he probably belongs at D, but it, they, they seem to win up some more games with him, the commanders do. I, I'm putting him at C. Man, when they say like numbers don't show everything, this is the exact player they're talking about. Because I love Heineke, man. I love the energy he plays with. The team rallies around him. He looks like he's having fun out there. His story is incredible. That being said, all that, like he probably had, as far as talent, is not up there with any of these guys. But it's the intangibles alone, this dude makes folks want to run through a wall for him. But as far as talent wise, C is right where he belongs. And that's no knock, man. That's no knock at all. Tom Brady, it's tough to say this, but he's a B? I want to say C, but I feel like that'd be disrespectful to the GOAT. And the only reason I'm saying B is to the fact that would anyone be surprised if the Bucks figured it out by the time the season, the regular season ends? This guy's been doing this for decades. I think you're still worried about him at the end of the games if you're the opponent or you're rooting against him. That's a, a, a hat tip. Let's move him to the front of the B list. He's our man. Trevor Lawrence, disappointment. Hype and potential only get you so far. His tenure in Jacksonville doesn't deserve more than a D. This is a D that I feel really really bad of saying because he should be much better than he is right now he hasn't progressed at all there's no urban meyer drama this year so what's really the excuse that you haven't been able to put your team in better positions to be successful the fact that he's a d at this point is very scary for folks in jacksonville yeah i think yeah, at this point you have to say he's overrated at least relative to what he was supposed to be they were talking about him as the, the next transcendent prospect a la peyton manning and Andrew Luck. Tua Tungavaloa, <laughs> lots going on with him this year, but he's played at an A level. He leads the league in a lot of statistical categories. Man, this might be the most controversial. He's right behind Jalen in terms of A for me. He shut a lot of haters up this year. He finally got some toys to play with and he's making it count, man. The Dolphins are serious. I would not be shocked if they knocked off the Chiefs in the playoffs. To me, he is an A, A plus plus. If he keeps this up, we're going to be looking at a top five quarterback in the NFL. Finally, Zach Wilson. The Jets have been a little bit better than expected. He has some arm talent. He could make some of those Mahomes kind of sideways throws, makes a lot of mistakes. The numbers aren't there. I guess a D is fair. This dude is flirting with the DF range. You can't say Zach Wilson is leading the Jets to the playoff. That's just not the case here. Is he an F? His team is the reason why I can't put him in that F category because they are getting wins. It's a D for his defense and them winning despite it.